This is JP2, and you're listening to The Loud Spot with Sebastian. Our creation. See you later. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Loud Spot. I'm your host, Sebastian Cosby, right out of Oklahoma City. Today we have Javier Perez with JP2. What's up, man? Pleasure to be here, man. Thank you. Absolutely. And then we got my producer, Sam McIntosh. What's going on, Sam? Go to hell. (laughs) (laughs) That sounds like you're having a good day. (laughs) I'm tired. I'm tired. And if ever anyone ever sees this video, they'll see it. They'll be like, "Is he drunk?" No, I'm tired. I literally had I've been up since four a.m. and then uh, I came. I, I finished, wrapped up for the day. What was it? About six six o'clock. I I messaged you and said, yeah. "I'm gonna take a little nap." So, and then I I wake up late to you calling me after well after I request. In yeah. all fairness, I did request. <laughs> so, yeah. Today, t- today I'm representing that uh, riot scene gear. Look at that! Look at awesome, that. nice. nice. So. That looks good, man. So yes. ha- Javier Perez, JP two. I'm. A, what does a two stand for? So, okay. So this whole thing, like right now, what I'm doing with my music, I'm a solo artist, and uh, I wanted to make sure that you, you know, like you know, being Hispanic, like come when in hispanic cultures you always use like both of your parents last names your your mother's uh maiden name and your your, your father's uh, uh last name and i wanted to have something where i could have uh both uh represent both my mom and my dad and uh like my last names like it, it so happens to be that my both my last Perez, Perez and i used to like write down forever like when i was growing up my my initials were always JPP, so now it just you know I just automatically said okay well my music project is going to be JP two, it just made sense. Yeah, well, we're lucky you didn't go JP squared or anything like that. <laughs> and and, and I tried and I couldn't find a font that worked. <laughs> you no, know, whatever. Oh, I'm going to. You're lucky you didn't have thir- you know thirteen of them like the normal thirteen <laughs> in, in Hispanic culture and be like. JP West Side 13. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? Okay, so I'm Hispanic, and that, that my, I don't have two last names. I never had two last names, though. You, you They don't like you. That's <laughs> Your dad's listening right now. I know, <laughs> Mr. Cosmic, you did not like him. That's the reason why you gave him no middle name. <laughs> <laughs> so you, and, and Javier, you're a, were you born in Puerto Rico? Yes, yes. Born and raised in Puerto Rico. I lived there until I was uh, 23 years old. Okay, so what's funny about that, not really what's funny about that, but when we did the Battle of the Bands, both my parents voted for you just because you're from Puerto Rico. Hell yeah. (laughs) You guys are racist. (laughs) Hey man, whatever works. (laughs) And they're like, we're not even going to listen to his music. He's He's Puerto Rican. Yeah, my, Boom. my mom can't even hear music. Like my mom's deaf, so she can't even hear it. She can't hear it anyways. My dad was like, "Hey, he's from Puerto Rico. Go vote for him." And I was like, "Okay." She, she went. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. That's she, awesome. She signed it. I was looking at your Facebook page earlier, and it looks like you are endorsed by a few different companies, huh? Yes. Um. Uh. Kanonikian Guitars is actually a Russian uh, guitar company. Uh, I've been with them for like two years. Um, really, really good company. Uh, Tsunami Cables, actually. Um, Tsunami Cables, I got uh, with them at the beginning of, actually middle of 2019. And I not only did I get in a relationship with them uh, with the endorsement, but I was actually able to meet the owner in person at uh, NAMM 
last year at the, uh, at, you know, at the, in the conference at the beginning of the year is really, really cool guy. It's, it's, it's been a really cool experience. It's, it's funny that like all the things that I really wanted to happen to my musical career, well, not all the things, but like a lot of the things that I really wanted to happen to my musical career when I was young uh -huh. and I really try to make them happen. They didn't. And now it, it's just, you know, I mean, call it chance, call it just opportunity, call it just access to, you know, media, whatever. All those things are, you know, little by little happening now. It's it's pretty, you know, pretty cool, pretty exciting. Uh, so uh, this was not obviously NAM last year because it didn't happen, but the year before. Oh, no, no, NAM, uh, you know, uh, uh, no, 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 NAM 2020, ha yeah, NAM 2020 happened in January. Yeah, we were there. And then, like, because remember, uh, uh, that was right uh, before. That was right before the. That was uh, right before yeah, the lockdown. COVID, yeah, COVID started in March, so we were there, and uh, like, it was so cool. Probably like the most amazing experience ever. I think like anybody who's a musician and a gearhead at some point in time has to go to that conference. It's fantastic, and uh, yeah, uh, I you know I was able to meet the guy in person there, and he, he was super cool. And then yeah, like you know, two months after that, you know, the world went to hell. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, I will. I will add this about then a caveat to that: bring walking shoes. Don't be if you're one of those artists that have, you know, the the, the platform shoes with the goldfish in it. Like from I'm gonna get you sucker. You are not gonna have a good day because it's a lot of walking. There's a lot of boost. There's a lot of things to look at. It's like Disneyland, and you literally have to split it up yep. into how many. It starts from Thursday and it ends on a Sunday. Yep. You <laughs> make sure you you get the map. And you map out your day and what you want to see each day. So, I mean, we were there uh, all day Thursday, all day um, Friday, half a day Saturday, and I think I saw forty percent of the whole thing. Yeah, wow! I've never even heard of Nam, dude. Like, I, I, I've never heard of it. What is like a music convention? I guess the National Association of Music Merchants. That's awesome. It's I, like I need to go all to that. the new, all the new music products that come out, all the new like musical equipment, recording gear, and all that stuff. Like that's that's where the companies like they they go to debut it. Like like I mean the the conference has been going on for ages. I mean I've I, I've known about it since I was a little kid, and uh, yeah. last year was the first time that I was ever able to go. And and it's yeah, it's like it's like you said, it's like it's Disneyland. And it's funny because it's right across the street right. from Disneyland. <laughs> it is. It's right behind Adventure California. Yeah. It's it's right behind that. And and don't worry, uh, Sebastian, you will experience Nam hopefully soon here because what I do is I, I usually throw a, a big party um and usually try to have a get together some way, somehow. Uh this this year was supposed to I was supposed to actually have a show a big like showcase that where they're all all the everyone could come have a good time but basically your reason you're re only your partying basically is between two hotels that's that's pretty much what it is it's from one lobby and then you go across street and go to the other lobby and then you go back across street so you know uh bring your drinking boots so. <laughs> sounds, yeah. like, sounds like some conventions <laughs> i've been to but not not in music okay i do want to talk about wasting time I play, this is the song I played on the Battle of the Bands, right? Yes. When did you come up with this song? Um, my writing process is is a bit weird. I I probably wrote that song probably a year ago, and I wrote it in mind with uh, I I knew when I wrote it, it's like, okay, this is a duet, and I knew in my head that it was like I I, I had a I had the person in mind that I was going to sing it with. I, I always knew, like, like I wanted to have to sing it with April. I've known April from uh, Auditory Armory for years. You know, she's she's like a sister to me. That band, like, uh, their drummer, he used to be my drummer. Uh, I've known him forever. And um, I approached her. It's like, hey, can you want to do the song uh, with me? And I send her, send her the, you know, the file. She loved it. We did it together. And then covid happened <laughs> yep and then i sat on the song and then i waited trying to see if because I, I i look at because i'm a solo artist and because i'm i have the liberty of of not being tied to any labels or anything like that i i, I wanted to 
stretch out the product as much as I could and say, maybe we can do a video, maybe, maybe we can do something, but it, it never materialized. So it got to the point that I said, okay, well, I, I have to release this now. Yeah, it sounds, and, it, it and, sounds good. Thank you, thank you. That's that's it, it was it, it was a little bit weird. Uh, it, it's it's outside of the comfort zone of what I would normally do. Like there's a lot of uh, like like there's like techno beats and stuff like that 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 a lot of people that heard it they were like wow you we've never heard you do anything like that. It's like well that's I if I'm going to do music by myself then I might as well like not put any limits on what yeah. I'm going to do. You know. And I think you you hit the nail on the head with a lot of artists that this year what they faced and some of them because they were stuck with a a label or something like that they were forced to release whatever content they had uh, because it was done it was scheduled and it was yeah. on whereas you know the single artist I, I know I got I have several artists on my roster that have held off uh, and we have that conversation of release something don't release something. Um, and uh, of course, we try to plan it, and like, yeah, let's let's go ahead and release it. It's gonna probably it's gonna probably end here pretty soon, so that'll be a good warm up to the tour. And then, of yeah. course, then it all gets scrapped again. <laughs> or or you release it, and you're like, well, shit, now what? <laughs> you know, yeah. we we just we just you know spewed all our load on this thing to the plan to do it. So it's really difficult, especially when it comes to the planning part. So it's good to hear that you actually said. You know what? I, I I can do whatever the heck I want to because I don't have anyone else. Um, yeah. But you know, in this industry, you want to make sure that you're releasing content on top yep. of that and not just staying stagnant and quiet and stuff like that. Like yeah. a lot of artists have. People forget about you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and, and and if you look at the other two releases that I, that I have, the other two singles, I released uh, a music video and the single simultaneously. So that was the plan. But it just it just didn't happen. I just had to go with a lyric video, which you know it it, it wasn't the best. You know it, it it really wasn't ideal. But I wanted to put something extra with it. But it, it the, still the song had really really good. Like it was, I did not expect it to go as well at, as it did. Like a lot of people came came up to me and said, "It's like I, I hate the fact that I like it so much." <laughs> like especially like I, I have a lot of friends that are like just just like full on metal heads that would never listen to this type of music, and they immediately when the chorus came up, they're like, "Damn it!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're <It's> really good. <laughs> we're still waiting to release uh, Sebastian's sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, uh, hey. You know, I'll sign following. the papers. We can use the music as background <laughs> music. Hey, exactly. <laughs> we, can do, we can do that. We're going to play Wasting Time. The one thing I do when I heard this song that I really liked about it is that it is experimental. It's it's rock, but there's definitely that there's definitely that experimental vibe to it. But it sounds really good, man. Like, I really enjoyed listening to it. And that's why you're on the podcast. So, Thank you. let's play it right now. Here we go. Wasting Time, JP2.